Welcome to episode 30 of the Medmagic's Monster Manual and another continuation of the Demon Souls chapter. In this episode, we are going to cover how I think you should run the Armor Spider in D&D 5e. But before we get into that, only a small percentage of you guys who watch these videos are actually subscribed. So if you're enjoying this homebrew Monster Manual list that I'm creating for you guys, be sure to subscribe to the channel. It's free and you can always change your mind. If we hit 4,000 subscribers by the first year anniversary of me uploading videos, then I'll be super happy. Also, a link to the stat block and the magic item can be found in the description of this video. It'll take you to my Discord where you can find downloadable pictures for both for free. But without further delay, let's just jump right into it. So this is the armor spider, and to start off, it is a huge fiend with the chaotic evil tag. It has an armor class of 17, and hit point total of 125, and a movement speed of 0. It is immobile and cannot move. For the stat array, the noteworthy stats here are the 16 strength, 18 constitution, and 16 charisma, with a 10 dex, 8 int, and 10 wisdom. For the condition immunities, it is immune to being prone. It has a passive perception of 10, speaks zero languages, and is a challenge rating of 7. Moving on to the abilities, its one unique ability is its innate spellcasting. The Armor Spider's innate spellcasting ability is Charisma Spell Save DC 14, plus 6 to hit with spell attacks. It can innately cast the following spells requiring no material components. At will, it can cast Scorching Ray, Firebolt, and Web. And three times per day, it can cast Fireball. In the game, it can cast Fireball infinitely, but that would be a bit broken, especially at the level that you would throw this at your party. For its actions, we have Cross Leg Sweep, which is a melee weapon attack, plus six to hit, reach 15 foot cone, and deals 2d8 plus three slashing damage. And it also has Leg Smash, a melee weapon attack, plus six to hit, reach 20 feet, one target, and deals 2d12 plus three piercing damage for the single target. So, how would you run this monster? The idea of this monster, it is supposed to be designed as a as an immobile turret type casting monster that spawns super far away from the party, harries it with the various scorching ray webs and fire bolts, but you probably just cast scorching ray. But it's supposed to try to immobilize the party as best it can with web to then light them up with fireball or scorching ray whatever you choose if the party is a bit lower level when you throw this at them you probably want to avoid using fireball or use it just very sparingly as to not you know entirely tpk them but that is how the monster is supposed to be run it does have defenses for if the party gets close but they will be nowhere near as effective as it will be at range so what does your party get for defeating this armor spider? Well, it would get the hard demon soul, or you could just give them the magic weapon that it would come with, being the lava bow. It is a rare weapon that requires attunement, a long bow with limbs like a spider's leg. It imbues all arrows fired with fire attributes. You gain plus two to all attack and damage rolls made with this weapon. You may add your intelligence bonus to attack rolls made with this weapon, and this weapon deals an additional 1d8 fire damage on hit. Pretty simple weapon, just really good for any rangers out there who might need a little bit of additional help. But guys, that is how I think you should run the Armor Spider and the subsequent Lava Bow in D&D 5e. If you guys have any questions or comments about this stat block or any changes you would like to make to it, leave them down in the comments section below. And if you enjoy this video and the stat block, be sure to leave this video a like and subscribe if you have not. And until next time, guys, have fun, stay safe, and as always, happy gaming.